Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, another top 5 list that I have in mind. And it's just been a while since I've done another top 5 and yet people have been asking for battle stages specific yet I cannot really do much because there's not much content. People just don't understand that. But anyways, we're going to be doing a top 5 list for the US missions in battle stage specific. My top 5 favorite missions in the in, um, battle stage specific. So this is my own opinion before you guys before you guys even write rants or something about it in the comments below this is my own opinion so don't so don't be like um saying like oh this is the this mission should be better than this one but i this is just my personal opinion but anyways uh don't forget to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't we'll see if we can hit 200 subs eventually by the end of this month i'm excited for something like that let's get this rolling shall we for number five, I'm gonna say for my fifth favorite mission, I guess, in the U.S. campaign, is Battle of the Philippine Sea. Is, I believe this is probably like this is a probably the biggest U.S. carrier fleet operation besides like like this is just a carrier fleet like carrier to carrier battle. I just like it. I just I don't know. I just have memories about it. It's just like really memorable. I did like how it's like a carrier fleet operation. It's just like how it's like formed out like that, and you had to sink two other ship uh, carriers. I just wish you can sink more of the carriers. Like I just wish for more in that mission. I wish it had more potential. It has more. I believe this that mission would have more potential if we had more action or more fun um, actions by uh, sinking probably all the carriers. That would be nice to sink all the carriers because that that would, could have been possible actually. To be honest, that would be possible. But yeah. And I just feel like it was just not much of a challenge. It was just pretty easy overall. I just love I just love the mission. It was just memorable. But that is for number five. For number four on the list, we have Battle of Okinawa. Now I'm so I'm like I'm probably thinking that some of you guys probably think, why is this already this pretty far down on the list? You guys probably thought like, may why not be on number one or number two spot? Well, he he's going to explain it. First off, I just let here's let's take off let's do some of the pro um pros of this mission. It's probably the most biggest combined fleet operation in the campaign. Most likely. <laughs> because there's just so many ships you get. You get like I think you get your your ships are like divided into two fleets. And it was just amazing how you can just like you're it's basically you're done Japan, you're getting screwed by um by this huge invasion force that's coming to raid Okinawa. Um, I just love that overall there's like so many things that come after you such as kamikazes and um, and eventually in the mission you get to sink the Yamato so that's fun everybody just loves the one sink the Yamato it's like a fan favorite of everybody you gotta sink the Yamato man it's pretty epic you know what I mean but yet to be honest it seems too easy like I said at times because it's not like sure you got the kamikazes but they're easily taken care of by just having fighters up in the air um, there's, there's not much any, the only biggest battleship you get to see was Yamato, and that's the only thing that, that comes in, like, later. And you only have, like, just destroyers and Shino boats, and it's just, I just feel like there was just not much of a challenge. Like, I don't understand about that mission if it's just not gonna be much of a challenge. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I just feel like it was just boring. I just wish, like I said, for Philippine Sea, it could have more potential to it. But anyways... That is for my number four. Moving on to number three. For number three on the list, we have the first battle of Guadalcanal. Okay, now some of you guys, I'm not sure if you guys have the same favoritism I have for here, but I just love it. I love sh ba um, ship to ship combat. If you guys know of me, I just love how it, it would just it posed it as much of a challenge for a lot of experienced players like me. At first, you you're basically outnumbered and outgunned. So you only have like two cruisers, well, one's a little heavy, one's a light cruiser, and you only have two destroyers. And you're up against like, uh, I think three heavy cruisers, or maybe two heavy cruisers, and a bunch of des destroyers and destroyer flotillas. And you just outgun, and later then you get to fight a battleship at the Mez, the final boss. It just, it was just a fun, I just love the nighttime fighting and the music in this fight. It was just really... I just love it overall. I really did enjoy this um, mission a lot. Um, I just overall it was just very fun. Yeah, I'm sure it might be some. It might be intimidating to some people about this mission because of the amount of ships that are attacking you. 
But really, I just love it. You just there's so much destruction and just blowing up stuff. It's just fun. I would love to see, and it was so cool how we can just head in the most of our fleet. To, and I just have a, I just my I think my most favorite part of the mission is when you go where your all your fleet and all your ships are up against all together, forming into one, trying to take out the battleship Hiei. That was probably really epic and really fun to do. It may seem too easy because, like, you know, there's so many destroyers that they can just launch torpedoes and then, bam, the Hiei is gone. But it was just, it's just fun. I just love it overall. I love nighttime, I like nighttime battles, really. It's really cool how it's like, uh, and I love how the mission is played out. I just wish it was much more bigger operations than just that. But anyways, let's move on to number two. For number two on the list, we have the second battle of Guadalcanal. Now, some of you guys have been weird, like, questioning me, questioning, like, why is this on the list? To be honest, I just, it's very memorable. I, for what it's one big reason, it's very memorable. I like sinking the, um, Tokyo Express. It just felt cool how you just get, use your fighters to just start shooting it down, and then using your subs. Like, you're just basically using everything. You're using PT boats, little bomber planes, fighters, a little bit of that, and a little bit of here, and it was just fun. I just love it, and and I just like shooting down transport ships. I don't know, it just seems so satisfying to me. I Don't ask me why, but I just fe feel so satisfying about it. And, um... And in the end, in the second part of the mission, you, well, I think no, it's the third part. You get to command a battleship against multiple enemy ships, which poses as much of a challenging, so, uh, like a much more of a challenging um, type part of the mission where you're up against about a lone battleship, and you get up against destroyers, cruisers, and eventually another battleship with you, but. Um, the only main threat, I believe, is just the torpedoes of the destroyers. You just gotta sink. That's why I try to sink the destroyers as much as I can before. Because if I don't, like, if I don't take care of them, they're gonna start launching torpedoes and they're just gonna blow up my, um, battleship to kingdom come. So, I just like how this just poses as much of a challenge and eventually USS Washington shows up to the party and just starts helping you wrecking the enemy fleets as well. I just love how you just get to sink the remaining fleet and it poses much of a challenging. It's challenging and yet fun. And overall I just really like it. I just love the second battle with Guadalcanal. It kind of actually, actually it kind of reminds me of Battle of Lombok Street which is probably my favorite mission in Battle Stations Midway in the campaign. And I just really love it. But anyways this that was Battle of Guadalcanal. See you guys in the number one. For number one, we have Battle of Cape Engano. Okay, I, let me explain this. I just, this, this is more, more probably my most memorable mission in, that I know in the campaign. I love it. I just, I just freaking love it. I just, and let me just, it's just more memorable. So, but let me just list a couple of good things that you, it's just fun. It's your it's your first time to play as the Iowa class battleship, which is which is really new. And the Iowa class battleship, just I just love the anti air guns. It's just you get to shoot everything down, which is so cool. I just love it, love it. I just love battleships. I love ships. I just bah. And then not only that, you get the USS Enterprise, the Big E, with a massive, huge fleet to support you, support it, which is just overpowered because. First off, you don't have many enemy ships coming after you, which is that one, oh, I guess you can say quote-unquote trap of, oh, quote on trap, because of the Japanese just sending just two light cruisers and a destroyer, yeah, that's a trap for us, oh, we're screwed, we're screwed, guys, yeah, that we lost a big E for that one, and it was just fun, I just like sinking the, I just also like carrier battles as well, one of my favorite maps. Um, I just enjoy it. I just love this mission. It's just really memorable to me. I just and oh yeah, I also forgot. There's also kamikazes. Yes, kamikazes. Banzai. Oh, you get For, I think this is like the, yeah, this is the second mission introduced the um, kamikazes in the U.S. campaign, 
but it I just like how it is just I just love it I just really do and I just it's just really memorable to me I just I just really love Battle of Cape Ganyu but that is Battle of Cape Ganyu so see you guys then so that is basically my top five list for my top five best US missions I believe in my opinion if you guys like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate all the support we can, that you guys given me so far. Um, I like to share my own opinion with y'all, you guys. You guys are really fun to talk. Like you guys are, I thank you guys for supporting me for this far of this channel. And I just wish we can get more people coming in. It's just gonna be fun. I just love doing content like this, and I thank you guys for that. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. See you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys then, everybody.